Today on Knife Banner, we're talking about new knife from CRKT coming 2020, this thing, and apparently Lucas Burnley? Hey guys. <laughs> Let's talk knives. How's it going guys? Welcome to Knife Banner. And today we are gonna be looking at CRKT 2020. So we've got all the new stuff from CRKT. We've got our main man, Ryan. How's it going, buddy? I'm doing great, how Dude, are you? It's good to have you, man. We're stoked to be here. Kurt, how you doing? So good to Long have you. Long time no see. <laughs> yeah, man. I right. appreciate that. All right. And, uh, just glad to have you. <laughs> real, real glad. Okay, here's the thing, guys. Kurt's a pretty affectionate guy. Uh, with Ryan around, he's been a little extra affectionate. So <laughs> he really likes Cheers. Ryan. <laughs> Ryan's my homeboy. <laughs> All right, I let's jump into this that. first knife because this first knife is actually really exciting. And the funny thing about it, I thought you guys already had something like this, to be 100% honest, because it just makes so much sense. No, actually. So <laughs> uh, our, our iconic M16 line, we've actually never had a fixed blade before. So for 2020, look at this. We came out with our first ever M16 fixed blade. It's awesome, man. You were pretty stoked on this. Dude, I'm you? super stoked on this because the thing is, is when I saw it legitimately, I was like, like we were looking at what to put on the table because Ryan bought brought a lot of knives. So we, were, we just kind of picked the like the best of the best for you guys. And I saw this and I was like, oh, you guys already have this, right? And he's like, no, we've never done a fixed blade M16. And I'm like, it just makes sense. Yep, like it totally. Just... <laughs> yep. So SK5 carbon steel G10 for the grip. I mean, it is, it's a workhorse. Yeah. And, and people, I think people have wanted this for a long time and it's yeah. finally, finally delivered. No, I love it. So. Well, and this is, this is a knife. The M16 is a knife that goes over the sandbox a lot, like with our troops. Absolutely. So to give them a fixed blade option, I think is even better, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. That's right. Definitely. Rad. Yeah. Cool. So this is our, uh, it's called the M1613 FX. Cool. So that is, that's the name, part number. So. M1613 FX. Correct. You know, you guys you go for names over numbers, right? Numbers are so hard sometimes. Well, with our M16 line, it is, we have so many it's that all it numbers. Just, yeah, exactly. it's all numbers. <laughs> but hey, we got names for everything else. Perfect, perfect. All right, well, speaking of names, let's jump into this next one. Yep. Um, so what do we got here? Yeah, guys, this is literally like one of our first time touching these. So Ryan's just gonna walk us through this. Yeah. I'm just so excited right now. <laughs> there, there are some, there's some stellar stuff on the table. Yeah, there you, really is. You guys literally have not seen any of this stuff. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Um, this guy right here. So this is designed by Richard Rogers. This is our Anara. Um, he did our CEO uh, yeah. that we, we came out with last year. We love this. Did you see that Micarta one we did? I did. Yeah, yeah we know you guys like that. Popular. Let us know in the comments if you if you want to see another run of that. Maybe we can uh, talk Ryan into making that happen. Yes, <laughs> sold out in a few hours. That was, Very that was fast. Pretty yeah. amazing. Um, so Richard came out with um, the Anara. So. I feel like this kind of has the CEO DNA in it a little yeah. bit, just the way it opens. Um, it's not spring assisted. It just simple thumbs up. I mean, look how right. snappy that is. Right, it's got a little bit of, you, you almost have to load up a bit on the on the thumb stud. Very similar to the CEO though. Yeah. Um, yeah. So a lot of people, uh, it takes some practice getting used to opening the CEO. Um, and so I think, you know, this is kind of one of those where once when you get it, it really flies yeah. out, so. Well, and talking about DNA, like it's it's a very slim knife, very classy knife. I mean, I'm digging like how these lines transfer into the yep. handle. I think that's really awesome. Yeah. So actually Richard was uh, describing the way he came up with this concept. He actually had a flat line on the bottom, just like a, a flat line and then made an arc and then sketched it from there. So he wanted that kind of silhouette. Yeah. So it's really interesting how these knife designers come up with uh, concepts. And For sure. Knife, so, well, yeah. I was gonna say, that's one of my favorite things about this knife is uh, you don't, you don't see it too often, mm -hmm. but you can literally go like that and the blade yeah. doesn't touch, Yeah, but it looks flush. Yeah. Yep. Such and a clean just... line. And, and this is something that I love about CRKT and, and you guys are gonna see, I mean, we've got Burnley, we've got TJ Schwartz, we've got Vox, we've got Brian Ty. I mean, this Flavio. Is, yeah, I mean, this is something Fultz. that I, I love about CRKT is you guys are always working with these incredible makers that like, honestly, like some of us can't afford their customs. So you're bringing, you're bringing the, those beautiful knives to the masses. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> All right, so uh, what do we got up next? All right, an uh, another Richard Rogers design. You were saying this is probably your favorite of, of the 2020, like one of the favorite. It is, so, so I, there's, I got two or three favorites on the table, but open that thing up, that's yeah. why. Yep. The I blade mean, profile, the blade shape is just so cool. Yeah, check that out. So yeah. um, we're calling this uh, Reverse Tonto, Warncliffe, mm. uh, Burnley calls it, K-tips? I got you, I got you. Okay, please. It's a modified Warncliffe, guys. Okay, perfect. <laughs> so um, we're calling this a modified Warncliffe. And uh, so anyway, so, um, you know, having this extra stability on the back, you know, it's, it's thick there on the blade stock, so you're not gonna really bust 
bust your tip on this. Yeah. Um, but what we've uh, done for 2020, we've had uh, different accent colors with a lot of our new 2020 line to sure. kind of make it pop. You pop them, pop, 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 pop. Yeah. Rather than just a black knife or a gray knife. Yeah. Um, you know, so here you obviously see the purple. You see on the back spacer, you got the purple as well. Also got this amazing clip. Um, you know, we've uh, we've seen that a lot of people are into the way the clip is mm -hmm. and how it comes in out of the pocket. So we've um, definitely taken a look at clips and, and wanted to come up with some unique clips as well. Yeah, and I'm seeing a lot of deep carry, which I'm about. I, Absolutely. I think deep carry is the way to go. Yep, it's almost a must. It really is, man, for a <laughs> lot of knives. Yep, so that is our cool. Montosa. Montosa, and, yes. and the thing about this is, is like, I'm honestly, I'm not like a big purple guy. Mm -hmm. And the thing that I love about this knife is that it, uh, the accent's there, and it's not so much that it would like turn me off from the knife yep. being purple. I mean, it's, it's just like these nice little subtle hints. And you know what I just got? We were talking about Marvel earlier today. This, this is a Thanos knife. Look at this purple, dude. That's like Thanos purple. That's true. I love it. <laughs> Are you a purple guy? You know what? I actually don't mind purple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A yeah. little, little flash of color. Yeah, yeah a little sometimes flash. Sometimes it goes a long way. <laughs> yep. All right, so, man, I got a lot of favorites on the table. <laughs> <laughs> you really do. Yeah, and this is like no hype, guys. There, there's a lot of really cool stuff. So right. this one is, this one's interesting. Ryan walked in and Zach was like, oh my gosh, I love this all. <laughs> yeah. He's all of them. We had a hard time picking what to put on the table, but yeah. actually, yeah, we, talk we, about this thing, because this is, this is unique. This is very unique. Yeah. Um, so we think this is the first ever folding pocket knife that's wrapped in paracord. Right. Have you guys ever seen it? I, I've, I've never, never seen, seen it done. No. So the reason why we can do that is because of our deadbolt mechanism. So with our new deadbolt lock, there is obviously no liner uh, lock, no frame lock, and so you can wrap the, the knife in right. paracord. And you have to wrap it kind of like a shoelace. Yeah, I'm seeing like, it's kind of hard to see. Let's see if we can open it up. And, yeah. So you guys can see it It wraps, it's probably hard to see from home, but it wraps inside and then it comes back around like a shoelace. So we are actually going yeah. to be uh, having a video released here shortly. Cool. TJ shows how to take the paracord off yeah. and rewrap it with whatever paracord yeah, yeah, I like this. So this is mine. Um, so it took me probably about 15 minutes uh, yeah. to unwrap the paracord, um, wrap it yourself. Yeah. And I just decided to kind of come out with, you know, a loud color, bright color. Well, so this is standard edition. Okay, this so is what you'll receive in the box. And then you can put whatever you want. Exactly. Cool. And then I like how you've got, I got your end, this this one kind of hanging out. It's nice if you want like kind of a lanyard or yeah. whatever, but I like, I, I just, I like how cleaner that, yeah. that looks. Um, um, and if you guys yeah. have been looking for some deadbolt stuff, because I know I've been waiting for a deadbolt and something a little bit smaller, we've got a bunch of stuff on this side of the table. So yeah. hold on. Well, before we move on, you know, because it's Christmas and I always kind of come with gifts and yeah, things like that. That's true. I just wanted to uh, <laughs> gift you your own. What? Dude, this Paris is scale. Yeah. Dude. So that is yours. Thank um, you. <laughs> we, we wrapped it with love at CRKT. We have, um, you know, two toned as well. Yeah, I'm into that. That's Dude, cool. This is rad. So, so that's pretty cool. And then this Kurt, awesome. my man. You know, you know, I can't forget about you. <laughs> no, I can't forget oh, about man. you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best Kurt knife so, I've ever seen. <laughs> this, is, this is a friendship bracelet, brother. Yes. <laughs> got your name in there. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude, you got. We we got to get. Oh, you really, got to get a close up of that, really dude. Good is that your that. name? Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so that beautiful. That is so amazing. That is so beautiful. Oh, I love the diamond. The yes. like the yes. bling at the dude, end. Here's the thing. I was really excited about these copper ones, and then you got a diamond. See, I saw <laughs> yours, and I was like, that's a sweet lanyard. And dude, then, dude, these I'm, are amazing. I'm cherishing this for the rest dude, of my life. No, honestly, this is. <laughs> thank you. This is awesome, man. You got it. This you is got super it, awesome. You got oh it, guys. Oh my gosh. Dude. All right, that's gonna go in the pocket. I'm gonna leave this on display here. That is amazing. Well, that's you crazy. were saying when you first saw this, you're like, oh, I gotta get one of these. Yeah, and in I, the back I of my mind, I'm like, oh, don't blow it. I really no, did. Don't he, blow he, it. Had one right. he knew, yeah. he knew, man. You, yeah, you knew. Yeah. Uh, so well, that's the great thing is you, you can personalize it. Yeah, so that's exactly. that's the great thing. So. That's awesome. Well, yeah. thank you so much. You that's oh my gosh, just the dude. best. Wow. <laughs> you got it, you got it. Wow. All right, well, jumping into the next one. Guys, I actually want to like end this video and just look at Kurt's knife, but I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna stay on track. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Check out Instagram. Kurt, we'll please have, put that away. I we'll just wanna, have some I just wanna look it's, at it. It's a bit yeah, extra. We'll have some pictures of it on Instagram. Pocket. I promise, jump on Instagram, we'll have a whole thing. Um, anyways, uh, <laughs> let's jump into the next one. Now, this is also a TJ Schwartz design, correct? Correct, yep, TJ. 
We all love TJ. Yeah. He comes out with some amazing concepts, amazing designs. Yeah. Um, so this is our Thero uh, that he did with us. Um, and so super unique as far as I feel like the way that, you know, the underlay is, it mm -hmm. gives it some depth, you know, that the carbon fiber there. Yeah. Um, it's just a really cool design. It's compact. Yeah. Um, obviously has a finger flipper for opening. Also has that hint of red in the pivot. I like he that. did it with the uh, Caligo. Cool. And it was wildly successful. Yeah. Um, and so Yeah, we he, all love that knife. It's a it's a good one. Yep. Yep. So it is, you know, TJ has great flow and design. Um, and I, th I think this is this is a home run. Yeah, I mean, it is. It's, and, it's and, awesome. it's, and it's a TJ design. Like yeah. you look at it and you're like, that's TJ. And speaking of TJ, you guys have one more from him. Yes, and sir. This, this one's pretty cool. Yes, sir. Uh, it's got a bit of a story to it. So tell, tell us about this one. Yep. So this is our Overland. So there's a big movement. Um, I'm sure a lot of people are aware is uh, the Overland movement. Right. And so yeah, yeah. Uh, TJ is an Overlander. Um, so what that is, is, you know, you, you pack up your rig, you go out, you know, camping uh, for several days. I mean, you guys did it with TJ, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah you well, guys actually right. went overlanding with him. So I have, I have, a, I have a, a very beautiful geo tracker that many of you have seen. Um, she wasn't quite <laughs> ready for that trip, but uh, Kurt and Jamie went, and yep. they, they went with, with okay, TJ, okay. and he actually had the prototype of this yep. in his pocket. Yep. So yeah, yeah. So what he wanted was a knife that you could take overlanding, so you can use it for literally everything. And a big yeah. thing is food prep as well. Yeah. So oh, yeah. see how the blade is actually lower than the handle? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. So you can use that for food prep. Um, you can That's use cool. it for literally anything you would want to do in the outdoors. And I love the colorway as well. So um, yeah, we're really excited about this. Um, you know, TJ is a great designer and I think these two are, yeah. are really great. No, they're, so. they're, they're really awesome, nice. Um, yeah. And and the thing that I like about this is, you know, you mentioned kind of how the blade is, but it, it feels really good in hand. Like it's almost got a drop to it, um, but it feels really good in hand. Yep, um, yeah, it really does. Yeah. yeah, Cool knife from TJ. I like that yeah. one. That one's probably one of my favorites on the table. <laughs> we're gonna guys you know just tell us in the comments how many times we said favorites on the table because we said it a lot but there are so many good ones first time and here's the thing here's the thing i'm gonna can i reveal this one please okay guys so please. crkt minimalist we all we all know this knife i'll put it here so jamie can get a nice close shot just normal minimalist right nope this is Zach's now favorite minimalist. So I, I do have to say, <laughs> look at that. So there is a, um, a full to minimalist user group on Facebook that I'm a part of. Shout out to the group. Yeah. They have been asking for this model for years. Dude, I love it. And when I first saw it, I, it how can you not love yeah, that? How thing? can you not love this? You delivered. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah is, we, we delivered yeah, to the group. Really absolutely yeah. beautiful. So yeah. cool. now you guys all know what minimalist to buy in 2020. <laughs> yeah. It's a great addition to the family. It really I am is. definitely picking um, one of those up. And then also, uh, really another cool one. Yep. Uh, this one, minimalist, glow in the dark, and then the, uh, the, the I guess not etching, but the yeah. pattern on the blade is actually done with 3D printing. Yep. Which That's is really cool. intriguing. Yep. So, Very cool. So, yeah, yeah I mean, uh, We've d field tested it, super corrosion resistant. Uh, we weren't sure this is our first time ever doing this. Right, yeah, of course. And we just, you know, sand everything and it l nothing happened. It was That's actually cool. really wild. Yeah. So um, we're looking at maybe kind of doing this for other models for as well. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's unique, cool. Yeah. We'll, st we'll stay tuned, guys, because honestly, like, we should get one of these and take it out and get it dirty. Because yeah. I'd, I'd be interested to see how that holds up. I yeah. think it's really neat. My take, favorite, take that one. Yeah, my, yeah. My favorite thing about that knife is that it's. It's not even that noticeable. It's not no. that loud. Yeah, mm -hmm. like the color is. But it's something is pretty subtle. It's something you can enjoy, though, right? Oh, and then, absolutely. of course, it's glow in the dark. So, like, you drop it at night or something in the woods. <laughs> Wait, is it, it right? really? It's glow in the dark. dark. Yeah. It's really glow in the dark. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh! We have some amazing, more compact deadbolt stuff. Yes, which sir. I'm really excited to see. So. Show us what we got. Yep, so um, the deadbolt mechanism came out last year. Yeah. Uh, you know, extremely strong, simple, and safe. And so um, we had a bunch of people requesting bringing that deadbolt and maybe bringing it into a smaller knife. Yeah. With actually a smaller deadbolt. So, hey, look what we did. We have our M40 series. So this might look very similar to our M16, M21, uh, because it's designed by Kit Carson, who designed the M16 line. Uh, we actually went back in the archives and found this uh, model. So we actually took an old school M40, put on the new deadbolt mechanism right. to kind of, you know, mesh old with new. Yeah, for sure. That's so cool. so we have this model, which again, one of your favorites. Yeah. <laughs> no, you, you actually, we're, we're talking about this one. And then um, we have, so that's our M4002. Yeah. This is our M4003, step up. And then Kurt, Kurt get that, get the big boy out. Look at that M40-15. So a bunch of different sizes. Yep, a bunch of different sizes. So, oh. um, you know, 
the M16 line is such a staple with CRKT. Like, hey, yeah. let's throw Deadbolt on it yeah. with you I mean, know, this it's, iconic design. It's kind of like an M16 with a Deadbolt, right? I mean, it's pretty a, much. It's pretty yes. much that. That's yes. where we're rolling now. You actually brought a uh, you brought to show the, kind of how the Deadbolt works, yep. right? So this guy's this is the pin that Correct. that goes in the back of the Deadbolt system. So you can see yep. here that's that pin, and this this is called Deadbolt because it actually like it locks in locks like a bolt. Locks in like a bolt. Now. Yep. There were two things when you guys first launched this that I was interested in. One, I was interested in seeing it in a smaller model. Boom, you've done it. Yep. Right? And then before we started the banter, I was talking to you and I and I was asking, I was like, because a lot of you guys out there actually had the similar a similar concern or question, was after time, is this pin gonna get pitted out or is it gonna wobble, right? So in the last year, have you guys seen anything come back? We have not seen anything. Yeah. Um, and so we have not seen anything, but as well, every knife on the table is a lifetime warranty. So exactly. So if, about that. if you ever did have a problem with the deadbolt system, boom, you got the lifetime warranty to back it up. So it's not even too much of a concern at all. No, right? it's not a, yeah. not a yeah. concern. And now, that, and now that me and Kurt have some, <laughs> yeah, right? gotta, we're gonna test these things out. Yeah, <laughs> I have one from last year. Yeah, that you thing did, that's is true. a pony, it, it works. Yeah, yeah, yeah man, it's it, awesome. It is. All right, so yep. speaking of deadbolt, uh, yes, we've got two other knives as well. Yep, so we have, um, this is our linchpin by Flavio Icoma. Flavio invented the deadbolt, mm -hmm. and he um, was able to out, to give the deadbolt to other knife designers to put on their right. knives, yeah, like yeah. TJ Swartz. So um, you, you will see, obviously, the deadbolt on other CRKT models, but this is his model with his deadbolt mechanism, and this thing's a workhorse similar to the Seismic that right. he came out with last year. Um, and so I want to touch on something unique that I don't think a lot of people know about and you guys didn't know about either. You can actually adjust the detent right here that little tiny screw right there. So I've adjusted it to where the way I like it, you know, as far as opening, closing, right. um, you can keep it, you know, so it's a little bit harder to open, a little bit looser. So that's something really cool that you can actually adjust the detent in this knife. I don't think, really think cool. I've ever seen that before. Yeah, so you can, so right, you can so adjust right. pivots and stuff like that to get, you know, a different feel. Yep. But the, the cool thing about this is where this is such a closed system where there's no real adjustment you can make, now you can adjust how you like the knife to go. So if you like a knife with a drop shut, you can adjust this with a drop shut. If you like a knife where you have to two hand open it, you can adjust it with a two hand to That's so open cool. and close. So yep. I think yep. that is yeah, really- Yeah, Flavio is a genius and he um, he had that on the seismic knife as well. Yeah. So you will, um, if you guys have a seismic, no, this there is, you have one. Yeah. This is hilarious because like, I didn't know the seismic had this. So yeah. I'm so glad that yeah. we're like learning no, this. Yeah. It's super cool. Yep. Super cool. So then we also have the uh, the black version with the VEF serrations on right. here, proprietary yeah. uh, serrations to see. Yeah, and we're gonna actually, I know some of you guys have had questions about the serrations. We actually have, an interesting provoke where we're going to be talking about illustrations in just a minute. Interesting. Now you still you <laughs> have that same detent uh, screw on the M40 series. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Right. So yeah. That, that's, that's actually yeah. really cool. Yeah. Yep. Multiple knives with an adjustable detent. I, yeah, I think that's pretty awesome. Yep. Yeah. Because I'm always trying to like tune. I tune all my knives. Who doesn't? Right. Who exactly. Doesn't? You yeah. want them exactly your. Yep exactly what feels good for you and to adjust the detent, that's yeah. that's huge. Yep. That's next level. It's, it's great, man. <laughs> All right, uh, and we, now, we, now we're going to some Brian Tai designs. Yes, some, yeah, some yeah, Brian yeah. Ties. Everybody likes uh, the tie designs. Oh yeah. And so um, he came out with, these are our BT fighters. Mm -hmm. So we have our compact uh, BT fighter. Um, just, you look at it and you see Brian Tai. Yeah. You know, he oh, has yeah. such a flair and a style. Yep. Um, so what I really like about this model is obviously the way that the handle shaped. Um, I like this upswept blade, but what's really cool is this uh, pocket clip. I was yeah. kind of talking about pocket clips earlier. Has a ball on the end, rolls in and out yeah. of uh, the pocket. Uh, we then have this model here, which is the larger version with the Tonto point. Right. So, so two variations, you get your compact, you got your regular size, uh, you get the flare Brian tie, but you don't have, you know, his customs are extremely expensive. Exactly. You know, it's, uh, you're, you're getting a Brian tie design yep. for an affordable like price. Like I said, bringing these incredible designers to the people. This is what CRKT is all about. I love yeah. it. Yep. And and when you look at this, like you said, it's unmistakably Brian tie. For sure. Right? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yep. Let's, I want to see this big one. Oh, uh, you got it, man. Dude, let's see. So basically I can have a TIE fighter yeah. in my pocket. In your pocket. <laughs> we were talking about Star Wars earlier. <laughs> right, right. But I want to show you guys something that I really love about the, the large fighter. Look at that thing. Mm, Christmas, those Christmas hams. Christmas hams lock <laughs> on there. Solid lock. I'm not kidding. Like that is actually a very comfortable knife in my hand, especially if I'm getting in a 
TIE fight. Uh, have you not? <laughs> and yeah, great. It has IKBS ball bearing, so it just flies right out. Yeah, it's I mean, super smooth. Yep. Way smooth. Yeah, and that's something that I'm digging on the table is it seems like there is easily something for everybody. You got yep. compact, you got classy, you got fixed blade, you got unique. Big, small, yeah. I mean, it's all there. I mean, we've got heavy hitters with our designers that, you know, I mean, they're yeah. coming out with great stuff. Yeah, exactly. So, sweet. All right. well, speaking of heavy hitters, yeah. we're just going to hit this one real quick, but you got a, a new box design. Just he is a heavy hitter. Real to us, real quick. We all know we love Jesper. His designs are incredible. I know right? we all have our favorites, and I, I don't think I have a favorite. I don't think I've said a favorite yet. I would, yeah. I might say this is my this favorite. This would be your favorite. This, this is what I started carrying right out of the gate when I got all of our samples. For some reason, this has found itself in my pocket and I never took it out for yeah. like a month. Um, so this is our Pete. So um, this is designed obviously by, by Jesper. Uh, he did obviously the wildly successful Polar. Mm -hmm. And this kind of has the same DNA, uh, very functional. This is extremely lightweight. 2.5 ounces. Oh yeah. Um, also, what's really cool is that blue yeah. uh, backspace. Yeah. Little the back. accent. Kind of a little, little pop to it. Right. Yep. Nice deep carry pocket clip yep. to a reversible. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Anything, anything from Jesper is okay by us. I, uh, <laughs> I love putting Jesper in my pocket. <laughs> there you go. Right. All right. Now let's grab these two provokes. Yes. And uh, so first one. So. People have seen the Provoke. Yeah. I love opening it. Yep. So, <laughs> so much fun. Yep. So uh, Provoke, we came out with last year. Uh, we came out with two new models uh, for 2020. We actually had a mid-year release of uh, the different colorway, the yep. Earth colorway yep. that is on uh, Blade HQ right now. This is um, the VEF serration version. So this is our Provoke VEF. The Provoke model, but we just added these um, proprietary VEF serrations yeah. to it. And if you guys don't know about VEF, the way that that, that serration, because it looks a lot different than like your standard three point, the way that it works is it's more of a pulling than a sawing action. Yep, um, so, so if you tear haven't, right through. yeah, if you haven't tried it out, you should get something with VEF and try it out. I mean, there's like a bunch of knives on the table where there, and there's other knives in CRKT's lineup, but um, it's a, it's a really interesting serration that was a bladeologist is what you <laughs> edgeologist <laughs> edgeologist yeah Tom, by, Tom Veff yeah designed by an edgeologist with I mean his master's degree or at least uh, probably a doctorate in, this, in edgeology uh, at, yeah. least. <laughs> <laughs> at least <laughs> what's this other what's this other provoke we got <laughs> yeah so uh, next provoke is we have our first responder so um, in the box you will yep. receive the sheath here. And then you get two clip attachments. Thank you, Kurt. Right. And then you have your Provoke knife. But what's unique about this is you have a glass breaker on the back. Oh, cool. That's yeah. cool. And we field tested it. You guys can go have fun, go to your local pick and part and yeah. bang out some windows. Yeah. Well, like we uh, said, we're going to do the field test in the future. Maybe we take this and break some windows. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. So. I love breaking stuff. Kurt, your truck's outside, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, I'll sacrifice. It's no big deal. Yeah, yep. this thing is sweet. I All right. Love yep. playing with and then finally, All we've right. got some exciting stuff yes. from Lucas Burn. Yep. My main man right here. So. I mean, it would be really cool if Lucas was here just to talk about these knives. Yeah. You know, just because yeah, yeah. he's friends with all of us. So yeah, yeah, yeah. He's it, it'd a great be, guy. It would be, yeah, solid yeah. guy. So it'd be super cool if, if he was. Uh... <laughs> what the <laughs> heck? My name? Oh my gosh, dude, come around here. Come on in here, buddy. What? Take my seat. Oh my god. Good to see you, man. Likewise, man. Guys, we got Lucas Burnley on the set. This is your is this your first time at Night Center? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Dude, we got Lucas Burnley on the set. Long overdue. Next level. I'm blown away. We we literally didn't know this was happening. We just walked in. I'm just glad to be out of the trunk. Okay, well, oh, man. you know, uh, yeah. I wasn't sure where Ryan was going with leading into Lucas Burnley is here, so let's talk some knives, man. Yeah, sweet, man. Welcome to Knife Banner. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that was um, So, yeah, two things. Um, super, super excited about um, both models that are kind of like, I feel like very, very in line with like what I'm doing in my customs. Like that's kind of the yeah. goal, right? Uh, and for with CRKT... You know, I've been with them long enough now that I really try to I try to transfer a lot of that, right? Like my my like fan base and customer base, I want to like transfer over in and a lot of back and forth, right? So like these two, they nailed it. Cool. Like right perfect on, on point. Uh, what do you want to look at first? Uh, this one right here. All what right. Yeah. All right. So this is the sketch. Um, basically, sketch is kind of moving forward from like the squid. Right, yeah. same DNA. Um, it's a little bit bigger, but like very similar in kind of an overall concept, right? Like right. a small knife that works like much larger than its size. Right. Um, 
easy to carry. Kind of went with like that K-tap feel. Um, yeah. Super nice for utility. Um, spear point on the squid is awesome because it's very, very robust. This kind of keeps like some tip strength, but also gives it a little bit more like detail. For sure. So, right. Yeah, for sure. So, yeah. You know, it's funny as Ryan mentioned that you said you call it K-tip. Yeah, I was yeah. Like, ah, modified Warncliff. Were you sure. here for that part? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can't, oh, we can't see over here, guys. I get to call it what I want. So, you yeah, can't tell me. So, so, I'm, so I'm sitting here and I'm like, I'm like, oh, I hope the thing doesn't make fun of him or something like that. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> no, not at all. Well, and like, I really like K-tip's more of like a like a culinary term. Yeah, no, but course. it's yeah, still yeah. like when you look at it, no, that's still what it is. One hundred percent. And a lot of the stuff like we're doing, you know, you're you're combining shapes. So a lot of these things are hybrids anyway. Yeah. So I'm saying it. It's a modified K tip. Okay, there we go. I love Whatever. It. That's that's I what we do on knife banner. Yeah. If it's a blade shape, we're not quite sure what to call yeah. it. Just modified something. Yeah. And then perfect. You're, you're safe, yeah. right? Um, so. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. Yeah. That's a, yeah. I, I love the up. color. Yeah, the color the pops color are great. Splash. Yeah, so that's that's another thing we've really been trying to do, right? Is like work in these little little custom levels of detail. Mm -hmm. um, because you know, in custom knives, that's that's what it's all about. It's like yep. it's it's the details, it's the small components, the small amounts of finish, texture, stuff like that. Um, and and on a mass production side, it can be like it can be really tough to to convey that. Yeah. So we worked we worked at really trying to get these to feel you know feel like yeah. us. No, I agree. And so. that's the thing is, is when you when you handle like the squid, right? Yep. It's like oh, this is a Burnley design. Yeah. You know what I mean? Goal. Yeah, for that's sure. Cool. All right, now, th so, now this next one, we say we kind of saved, I think, what might be the best for last in just it, how exciting this is. So tell us about thanks, this. Thanks, man. Yeah. Uh, so this is this is the tuna. Um, and the, the tuna is like kind of what I designed for myself is just like an everyday frame lock. Um, I really, like people hear me say post-tactical a lot. And so for me, like, tactical origin for me in knife making is kind of like where it all began, right? A lot of that, I think, it still conveys in the knives, but like when I say post-tactical, it's like you're taking the lessons of tactical knives, the functionality, and you're you're kind of like I, I don't want it to feel aggressive, right. right? I want this I want this to be at home in anyone's pocket, whether they're like they're function driven, you know, uh, design driven, uh, weapons driven, like whatever the thought process is, right. without having to like yell like hey here's what i am right like, yeah, yeah, you yeah, know yeah, yeah. Um, look at me yeah, yeah yeah so so this is one that that like for me i look at it and it's like direct pass through i designed it for myself and i feel like it really encompasses a lot of what the crkt brand means for me so i'm i'm super super happy with cool, this man. one yeah um, yeah this was i think this was the one out of all the ones that were on the table that were my favorites uh you're just this, saying that because i'll sit here no 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 but, no you can ask ryan you can yeah. ask ryan out of all the ones on the table that really this one honestly popped the most and i think this is the one that everybody was excited about right? thanks man we had a bunch of people in the room well before we knew lucas was going to be here yeah and uh we were all like dude this tuna though it is so good yeah um, yeah and i like that post tactical yeah i like that, it's, I like that. and you know like i i assign things in my brain just right. so that I can, like as I'm designing, I can kind of try to keep keep like a, a consistent uh, path, yeah. right? And yeah. so like for post-tactical came in like a few years ago in my thought process and I just realized I'm like, that's like, that's what I'm doing. Yeah. Like, yeah. we're you know, I'm doing like higher end folders and stuff, but it's, they're still tactically inspired. For sure. Right? Yeah, so. Yeah. yeah, give it a category and then you have a, a path design on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, pretty excited. Um, cool. Got some neat little details on this one. Like we lightened the frame. Yeah. It's got a lock over travel. Um, just like, yeah. it's, I think, I hope people like it. Cool. Right so, on. Um, I don't want to interrupt. No, no, I, got, no, go I ahead. got one more thing. Yeah, for you I mean you're you're here. Yeah. Like, All right. Like, yeah, yeah, so like you're just because I don't know timeline, I want to be sensitive to that. No, it doesn't um, matter. Okay. <laughs> Obviously, I didn't just actually appear appear in a cloud of smoke. Right. So <laughs> when when I when I found out that I was coming out, right. um, you know, we've done so much together over the years, and and I love doing the special projects with you guys. I I basically started talking to CRKT about if we could do something like super limited just for just for you guys. Cool. And they made it happen. Okay. So basically, we've got a limited run sketch. Cool, right on. Carbon fiber scale. Oh wow. And D two. Yes. Really. Right so, on. So yeah. Right that's, on. Dude, you. that is epic. <laughs> right on, man. Oh my gosh. You know. That's oh, that so guys. Carbon fiber is cool. <laughs> literally, <laughs> literally from the horse's mouth. Literally from Lucas Burnley. 
We've got a we've got a CRKT Burnley exclusive at Blade HQ. <laughs> I, I wish you guys could touch the carbon fiber. It's got a milled texture to it. Yeah, a little bit, really, a little yeah. bit of texture, a little yeah. tactile. Yes. Yeah, yes. it feels nice. It's so nice, and it makes that even lighter. Yep, right. right. Went with went yeah. with the kind of a copper accent on the pit yeah. rings backspacer. Yeah, um, and it's and it's and it's no secret. I'm not a fan of carbon fiber usually. Yeah. But that's because it's slick, right? And this isn't slick. Yep. Yeah, yeah. This oh that's gosh. the texture thing. It's, yeah. the, it's the small details. Yep. It is. Right? It's the small details, man. So great. Well, guys, uh, I don't know when this video is going to be out, but check the website. <laughs> we'll at least have a listing up for you, dude. This is exciting. I know, man. Oh I'm my god. I'm like looking forward to actually just hanging out now. Heck I know, yeah. right? Heck yeah. So we're probably gonna get some burgers or something yeah. and just hang out with Lucas Burnley. No big deal. Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds good. Dude, thanks for being on. Yeah, absolutely. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. See you guys. Um. So before before we sign off. We, uh, so we told Ryan before we started that we didn't have any surprises. We usually have a surprise for Ryan when he comes on. We told him we didn't. We had no idea this was happening. So I don't you know. You want me to jump out? He can jump no, out here. Uh, no, you, 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 you should have my seat. Okay. Pull Ryan right yeah, in here. Take my uh, seat. Yeah. So yeah. In the here's the thing. Yeah. Here's the thing. We were trying to one-up Ryan because we figured he's going to bring us a knife or two. We were trying to one-up Ryan. Uh, I don't know if we did with Lucas Burnley, but guys, we made Ryan a piece of art to take home with him. <laughs> Right, oh what do you think about that? <laughs> Dude, that is amazing. What? It's a perfect Are likeness. Are you kidding me? It's a perfect you need likeness. that as a back tattoo. We, we, Dude, back, <laughs> we, contacted back his, we contacted his wife. I, I heard they went on a vacation recently, so we just got a vacation picture of Ryan and just right. put it here. That's a special CRKT M16 that uh, CRKT you, may or may not be doing in the future. This is insane. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> Yeah, you preface this whole thing. Oh, we didn't do anything yeah. for you. Sorry, we messed up. And in my back pocket, I'm like, oh, we got Lucas coming. I'm gonna get him. My favorite thing is him carrying this onto the plane. Like, yeah, no. Like, oh yeah. This is the idea. Is we know we know that Ryan. You know, he he travels. He's got a pretty All big right, bag. We can, we can set this down. <laughs> we wanted to get him something nice and light and easy just, to do as a carry. Turn that around. Carry You're on, actually so. blushing. I, mean, I, I love that so much. Insane. It's it's like you stoked? Uh, uh yeah. <laughs> That is next level. Oh, that is crazy. Crazy. That As look, always, yes. right above the mantle. Oh, yeah, right above the mantle. Epic. As oh. always, guys, this has oh, been dude. a wild ride. Um, you know, the problem is I don't know how we're going to one-up each other next year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> guys, check out these CRKT oh. knives on the website. Please hit or, uh, consider hitting subscribe and notification bell. Thank you for being on. Oh. This is epic. Dude, thank you for coming. Yeah, of course, man. Seriously. And uh, real talk, Thanks, we're going to get some burgers. So you yep. guys have a good day. We'll see you on the next one.